Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number five. Five filled after six for some reason. So that's how, that's how it went down. First to fill, first to break. So this is for break number five. Brand new Bowman Chrome Baseball just dropped yesterday. And big thanks to all of these folks for getting it going. Conrad with the A's, last spot mojo. Thanks to him. And thanks to everybody for getting in on this one. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next. Uh, we'll see you for the next one, I'm sure, as well. We got more in the store is what I meant to say. JaspiCaseRake.com. It's getting late. I'm tired. All right. Now, Gilo, who's in the 8x10 break, that's going to go after the collegiate break. He's lobbying for that to, to happen before this long break. First, he wanted me to stay late to do it. And I said, okay. Now he wants it pushed up. What is this, the Gilo show? We gotta, let's, work around G, let's work around Gabe's schedule. All right, but Brett says, listen, if, <laughs> if, if Gabe, yeah, I know, we should, we should put that rule into effect. If Gabe buys his Royals, and he's not here, if he's not present, we'll just send to the other Royals fan, Brett, big rig. All right, three, 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 and three, that's 12 right there. Pick your team five right now, and let's not forget that as well. I'll keep that right there as a little reminder. Keep it right next to me. All right, just in the interest of time, we're gonna kind of fly through the cards here and then we'll uh, obviously sleeve and top load the autos. We'll do an auto recap at the end of this break. And then we'll do, um, yeah, we'll do, then we'll give away some money at the end of this break too. The, unless the parallel is like, you know, 10 or less, all the numbered base cards will just set aside. We'll have our shipping team sleeve and top load those before they get sorted out. Who, she looks like, who likes Bowman Chrome anyway? I don't know. A lot of people. Everyone on this list. The people who bought, like, who knocked out a, a personal case of that today. A box at a time. People who filled up HTA, two, and then two more cases of this hobby. Everyone's into it. You're missing out, Gilo. You're missing out. John Harshbar is saying nothing filled that you were in. What well, what breaks were you in? All right, box one, good luck. What the hell's going on there? That felt weird on the back because it was all wrinkly. What is that? That's the one they found on the printing room floor and they were like, let's just stick it in. That's kind of odd. Well, there you go. Brian, you get wrinkly Mackenzie Gore. There's Esteban Floriel to 499. Three out of five, Kyle Tucker. Wow. Jeremy Tillman with the Astros. Is, that, is this feeling like a hot case already? Three out of five. Jeremy Tillman with the Astros. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Maybe we'll find our one of one in here. Haven't seen one of those yet. And we've got 69 out of 99 green autograph, Edwin Yusita for TJ and the Dodgers. There you go. Nice. There's Eli White, 37 out of 50. That one's all wrinkly too. What the hell? 
I'll bet the... That looks like the... Because the car's not bent, obviously. If it was bent, the front would have that, too. Looks like some weird glue warping going on here. There's Joey Votto, 250. They're not all like that, though. Out of 499, Lewis Brinson for the Marlins. And we've got Jeffrey Del Rosario for the Royals, Matt Gomes with KC. Next one. Next box and pick your team number five from jazpiececasebreaks.com. I actually think we're tiny. I went a little bit faster in that previous hobby break, so I think we're actually slightly ahead of schedule now, which is good. Then we'll actually, I think we'll actually finish on time. All right, second box. Good luck. Out of 150, 250, Alex Kirilov. And we got Alexander Canario. That's one for EA and the Giants. One of the players that EA has been chasing in a number of our breaks. And he's finally got one. I think the second one, actually, but all, all recently. Brandon Belt's 250. And another giant. It's another Alexander Canario. 414 out of 499. When it rains, it pours, EA. All right, next box. I know it's a baseball break, folks, but we just finished watching Thursday Night Football. Dust off your Gardner Minshew autographs. Two touchdowns in a, uh, in a win, in a big win for the Jaguars on Thursday. That's why I do that check. What were what were his final stats? So not a very very efficient day for Gardner Minshew. Twenty out of thirty passing, twenty complete thirty twenty for thirty passing, two hundred and four yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, didn't take a sack. 18 yards rushing. Not too shabby. Does who have autos? Suli? For the Royals? I'm not sure, actually. Mm 
And this one kind of has some warp warping on the back too. Minshew has autos. I actually don't think he has autos in in collegiate. No, he does. No, he has autos. Maybe in XR he does. No, in collegiate. No, he does. Yeah, actually, yeah. He's got autos in most NFL products. There's Jorge Alcala for Charles and the Twins. There's Armenteros for the A's. Robinson Cano to 150 for the Mets. And for the Yankees, we got Devi Garcia. And that's for the Yankees. That's for David Valdez. Quarter of the case done. Getting into the second quarter. One, good luck. <laughs> Ryan Peoples, uh, he's trying to get Ken McLeod and the Mets owner to file a lawsuit against against Tops for false advertising. We're not, uh, we've seen not enough of either. I don't think I've seen any of this guy. scandal that would be <laughs> like we forgot to put the guys on the box in there like some intern had one job to just mail the Fernando Tatis Jr. and Pete Alonso autographs to the factory so they can randomly insert them in and they're like oops <laughs> there's Miguel Geraldo that's for Kyle and the Blue Jays. Like, hey, Frank, did you send those uh, autographs over? What's this box right here? It's filled with Pete Alonzo autographs. What's going on? You didn't send them? <laughs> 150 Dalton Varsho. All right, so in this case, just FYI, everyone, a lot of, I mean, thankfully, they only seem to be for base cards for now, but... Some of them have these kind of weird warped or wrinkled backs right here. So just FYI. There's Eloy Jimenez to 150. I'm assuming so. I can't imagine a high-end product like, like that, Brian, to not have Fernando Tatis Jr. There's Isaiah Gilliam. I mean, they got to put in the top rookies. I'm sure pre-orders for that will go up. What day does that come out? If it hasn't been pushed back, 
I feel like that's a good candidate to get pushed. Oh, it's next Wednesday. Um, I'm sure pre-orders will be up this weekend. I don't know. I'll talk. To, I'll ask Nick tomorrow when he, when he's intending to do that. But but it should be uh, it should be a very similar checklist to Immaculate. So I think the prices will be will be kind of based off of the Immaculate prices if that checklist isn't out. Because from year to year, it usually is pretty similar, ex except for the fact that NT is more expensive. But but I mean, relatively speaking, it should be that. I don't think there'll be too many like surprise additions or subtractions that would significantly change the price of a, of a team at this stage of the season anyway. Yeah, I mean, it seems like Tops kind of, at least for our breaks, Brian, it seems like Tops, Tops and Bowman kind of hate you. But we've just missed it by one. We've just been unlucky, you know what I mean? But I feel like, I feel like the Panini stuff has been a little more agreeable, at least from our end. So yeah, I, I, I hope so. I hope we'll do a lot better. Now. I mean, we still have many boxes to go here too. So let's not let's not lose hope just yet. Vinny, what's going on, man? Um, no, I've not. I mean, let's 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 wait for them to get immaculate hoops out first. Then we'll worry about then they'll worry about flawless. I'm sure. Oh, you know what? It, Nick and the boss man went to the industry conference. I wonder if they asked them what the holdup was for Immaculate Basketball. Sorry, I know I'm talking hoops during a baseball break, folks, but it's late. We've run out of things to talk about tonight. <laughs> Rockies, that goes to Michael Tran. At least I have. I'm exhausted. Uh, have you, Release dates? So, no, I haven't. But they went to the industry summit, like I said. There's Kiba Ruiz for TJ and, and the Dodgers. Um... I wonder if they asked what the holdup was for Immaculate, which I would assume would be a number of key players not having turned in their cards yet, which is generally the case. There's Julio Pablo Martinez for the Rangers. Yeah, there's another one that has that wrinkly back right there, but it all just seems to be base cards, thankfully. I, don't, I haven't really felt... Like any autos or inserts have that issue. Jordan Yamamoto. Robert with the Marlins. Gardner Minshew looks like he could be... I'm watching his press conference right now, post-game. Looks like he could be... He's still in uniform, too. I love it. Looks like he could be in, like, Days and Confused. All right, all right, all right. Minshew keeps us up, folks. He's going to be a rock star. <laughs> I mean, there, every year, there's always one or two players in, in any major sport where, he'll, where he or she will just come out of nowhere and, and someone will just ball out. You know, it could be NFL, soccer, women's world. I don't know. There's always someone, sometime every year, where, where someone will just blow up and I think Minshew's the guy for the NFL this year. That sort of under the radar, like, you know, talent that comes out of nowhere and just starts putting up points and making exciting plays and whatnot. You know, for baseball, Pete Alonzo, right? I mean, we saw him raking in spring training, but... I don't think anyone expected him to have the season he had this year. Price Touring. Just 
Charlie Blackman to 4.99, and Cam Rogner for the Brew Crew. Josh Proust with the Brewers. There's Debbie Garcia to 150. Justice Sheffield to 250 for the Mariners. And Nick Green for the Yankees. And that will be for David Valdez and the Bronx Bombers. All right, we are halfway through the break, ladies and gentlemen. Third quarter, second half coming up. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I wouldn't hold my breath on that either. I feel like that this happened last year too. There was a lot of overlap between like the end of end of year basketball product kind of blending in with the 19 with the with the next year's product, you know what I mean for basketball. Usually there's a cleaner break between baseball, right? All the high end baseball stuff will come out, then there'll be like a minute or two of no baseball and then all and then the the new year would start, right? But with basketball there seems to be a little bit of overlap. Yeah, I don't know what the what the scheduling strategy will be. There's Logan Gilbert to 50. But I think you know, I think uh if it's ready, they're going to push it out, I think. If if like both products are ready to go within days of each other, I think they'll be like to get it out there. <laughs> and there's Alejandro Kirk 83 out of 250. There you go, Blue Jays. Yeah, big rigs, like I can't seem to touch NBA cards. It's a little bit out of my price range. Seems to have a big market. Yeah, it sells extremely well, but because of that, it's also extremely expensive. It's going to be weird this year, folks. Just be prepared for the NBA, you know, because there's going to be some, there's going to be some eye-watering prices that we're not going to, that we haven't been used to in recent years. Which I which I know are going to turn some people off, and but there's Wencel Perez for the Tigers, John Gonzalez with that, because you know we're getting charged, everyone's getting charged more, Panini's charging more, distributors are charging more, and so our cost is higher. So it's going to be a weird year. But I th we're gonna, we're going to do our. I mean, we this is something that we've been sort of discussing for a little while now, knowing the Zion hype. So I think we're going to try to find. We'll try to find some creative ways for for people to try to get into those basketball breaks. You know, maybe traditionally we've done more pick your teams, but maybe we'll have to do more random teams. You know, maybe those random teams will have to break down into 
smaller like half case breaks or something like that. So um, so I think we're, we'll figure it out. We're gonna try our best to figure all that out. But but even even with all that, I think the Zion effect is real. If, if Big Rig, if you were Brett, if you were intending to start collecting hoops this year, it was a wrong wrong year to do it. If you're kind of getting into it. Oh, well, even that Vinny has gone up in price too. Look, look at this year's compared to last year. You'll be like, wait, what? Wasn't that that price last year? And we're like, yeah. And now it's this this year? And be like, yeah. But we'll see how it turns out. We'll see how we'll see how sustainable all this is. You know, as of now, I think general public is like, oh, it's NBA so wildly overpriced. And that's all relative, right? It's also wildly priced, you know, relative to last year. But all the all the distributors that we've talked to and everyone's saying, guess what? People are still buying though, so the market hasn't corrected. There's Hudson Potts, twenty four out of ninety nine. Green Shimmer for Peoples. So I mean, people will be like, oh, it's not worth it. It's overpriced. It's this, it's that. But it's just like, I mean, I'd be with you if it wasn't selling. <laughs> you know, if it, that's what uh, economics, right? If the market says it's too, too high, people aren't going to buy it. I know, Brian. There's Eli White for the... There it is, right there. Some color. It's a start. It's a start. That's all it takes. One, one becomes two. You know, clean on the back. And we'll get that sleeve and top loaded before it goes out. There's Mason, four ninety nine. But just like with other group, group breaks, ladies and gentlemen. And that hoops, high risk, generally means a very high reward if you hit. Aha! Boom! Peoples! I got it right this time. So I took care of Hanks in break six, Jacob. Now I'm taking care of my peoples. Rookie Chrome Autograph Gold Refractor Parallel Fernando Tatis Jr. for Brian Peoples. Boom! My peoples. My peeps. It's you, right? I just want to make sure Brian Peoples on my list right here. There it is. What is that? Out of 50? Gold's out of 50? Autograph and some color on it. Yeah, now, yeah. Peoples is happy. He can breathe a little more comfortably now. There you go. Should be out of 50, he says. Nice. There you go, man. I don't know if it covers all the spots you were in. Maybe it does, actually. Out of 50. But Peoples is a Padres guy, too, so... It's gonna be good, good for the, good for the personal collection. Yeah, that's right, Brett. Yeah, just a little bit of sarcasm, a little bit of tongue in cheek, Brett. Now, that might be enough magic to get the hits you want. Doesn't work all the time. It'd be close to covering all the spots. Nice. But that's totally PC for you, yeah. Oh, I feel like, I mean, he's real deal, right? Because it's like stock market, folks. Fernando Tease Jr., if you think he's real deal, you get his stuff now, you know, and then you hold on to it. Maybe you, I mean, if it looks nice enough, Brian, when you get that redeem, it could be worth grading, too. If you get that graded, that's a 9, 5, 10 out of Bowman Chrome, which, you know, isn't, isn't as isn't as valuable as like say Bowman draft or whatever, but still, it's still a nice autograph, you know, so could get it graded, protect that card and have it sit for a while. And hey, if Tatis Jr. ends up being every bit the player that he seems like he could be. I 
I wish he had won the rookie of the year. Some injuries kind of kind of shortened his season a little bit, but it's Floriel. But I wish that uh, Jason got it for Brian Peebles. So, um, yeah, injuries kind of derailed him a little bit, but I kind of wish he had won the rookie of the year. You know, then you maybe think about knocking out an MVP in a few years or something like that. And then, by then, in a few years, the Padres could have a really terrifying team. <laughs> There's Peyton Henry for the Brewers. Josh Proust with the Brew Crew. Which, as a Dodgers fan, you know, natural Southern California rivals with the Padres. As a Dodgers fan, like, that's why I'm, I'm like, the Dodgers have to knock out a World Series, like, soon. It's not going to get any easier. Not, not in, I mean... Dodgers have been so comfortable the last, like, almost a day. What? what in the world? Look at this, Josh. <laughs> Someone must have bumped the, uh, the stamping machine when this was going through. Error card? People don't value the error card these days. People just say, no, that's just an F up. <laughs> no one values the error card anymore. And there's Brian Rocio. All right, Brian Rocio for the try. That goes to Brad Bridges. Brad Bridges on the board. All right, final quarter of the case coming up. Quarter, right? Yeah, final quarter of the case coming up. We're in the fourth quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Yeah, Mackenzie Gore is going to be a big one, too. I think, like, even, like, Cal Quantrill is going to be pretty solid. Man. So that so I, to finish my point, I think I think that's why I would love for the Dodgers to knock out a World Series. They've been comfortable winning the NL West for so long that they could. There's going to be a time where the Dodgers can have a really good team and then maybe get bumped out of the playoffs. It's very possible, you know. Because guess what? Kenley Jansen's getting older. They're going to have to find a new closer soon, you know. Kershaw's not going to be around forever. Justin Turner's not going to be around forever. Then you got, you know, talented but but raw talent guys. You got to wait for Gavin Lux to really develop over the next few years. You got to wait for Verdugo and, you know, AJ Pollock's got to stay healthy and Dustin May and Walker. Well, Walker Bueller seems like he's there already, but, you know, Dustin May, other young pitchers have to really kind of develop too. So, so when I... So at the end of the day, then it just becomes a re it just becomes really tough for even a big market team like the Dodgers to compete. And getting to World Series is hard. So so I need the Dodgers to knock one out, preferably this season. And then then we'll then we'll be comfortable for a while. <laughs> Look at what happened with the Cubs. Cubs thought. You know, Cubs fans saw that World Series and they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna win three of the next five. That didn't happen. You know, they're like, "We got Chris Bryant, Kyle Schwarber, Anthony Rizzo. You know, you know, you got all these guys. They're gonna rattle off multiple World Series. It, it hasn't happened since. So that's why. That's why I, I know it could be another hundred years. I get nervous. Just wanted to do it now before the Padres get scary." Um, when's a good time to move that Bo Bichette auto that, oh, that I pulled a year or so back? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe he's shown some flashes of brilliance this year, Brett. I, I would maybe wait till next year. See that? I feel like the, the Alonzo and Tatis Jr. cards always follow each other, right? Brad Hand? I'd take a Brad Hand. How, wait, how, how did Brad Hand, how's he been doing since he was moved to Cleveland? I don't know. I think the Dodgers will probably develop from within on that sort of that sort of stuff. I say develop pitching by hitting. Melvin Adani, 
Adan, that is, for EA and the Giants. I feel like Brad Hand would cost too much. Yeah, Cal Quantrill's been pretty solid. Denilson Lament is solid, Stu. Solid, too, coming off that TJ surgery. You know? Um, and you still have Machado. Hey, he, he's kind of had an up-and-down year this year. There's Luis Robert. White Sox will be scary, too, in a couple of years or so, Matt Combs. But, hey, you guys are willing to spend money. Manny Machado's going to be there for a long time, and he had kind of an up-and-down year this year, 30 out of 99. But he's going to be fine. By the You know, he's still going to be great. He'll anchor the offense of that team. And there's Luis Gill. 45 out of 150. Yeah, Bo Bichette just, I mean, he's going to be on a good team. He's looked good at times this year, Brett. And then, think about it. Next year, all those young guys have, have like, you know, three quarters of a season or a season under their belts. Hopefully they'll be they'll be working out, get their bodies right in the off season, get used to, you know, get prepared to play 162 games a year plus playoffs, get all that going. Bo Bichette could be great. Imagine Cabin Biggio, Bo Bichette, Vlad Guerrero Jr. That's a nice trio for that for the Blue Jays. You trust Garrett Cole out of Houston though, Brian Peoples? They they have some. I mean, if you listen to Trevor Bauer, he'll say something else. But, but uh, to be diplomatic, the Astros seem to have some sort of magic pixie dust that makes those spin rates go out, go out of control. So, do we trust him outside of Houston? But you can't not. I mean, pitching is kind of the... Garrett Cole market is going to be really interesting. I, you know the Angels don't want to waste Trout's career, right? So they want a top-of-the-rotation guy. They got a decent offense, but they want a top-of-the-rotation guy. So the Angels will be looking to spend. Padres could use a top-of-the-rotation guy. They've been, they look like they're willing to spend to take advantage of that young core before the, that young core gets too expensive. Maybe price, someone, one of those two of those guys get priced out, right? Can't keep everybody. Yankees? Cody's thinking? Yeah, I mean, maybe. But they've got James Paxton. They've got a couple young uh, players that are there. Severino's just coming back, right? So, but it depends. Oh, you know what, Brian? I was just going to say, it depends on maybe where he calls home. I did forgot that he was a, was he a Bruin? No, Bauer didn't actually say pixie dust, but Bauer has pretty much said that, hmm, one pitcher not so good here and then goes to Houston and all of a sudden their spin rates are faster. Um, he's pretty much been saying, has been implying that the Astros have been cheating, somehow cheating, because everybody on that team, their spin rates magically go up by, you know, a thousand, like 2,000 RPMs or something. And it's not 2,000, but like it's significantly enough. To some, suddenly their curveballs are sharper, and their fastball, their four seamers and two seamers have more, you know, movement on them, and so, so yeah, he's he's actually straight up said that, that just short of saying they're cheating. <laughs> There's Cal Quantrill, Paul's kid, for those of you who remember Paul Quantrill. Pine tar is what people, I guess, but everyone uses that though. That's why no one calls out anybody on that stuff because everyone's using something. That's the dirty secret. Everyone wants to think that pitchers just roll out there, and but everyone's using something. There's Telmedo Augustine, but everyone's doing it, you know, so that's why nobody goes to the ump and say, hey, check that guy's hat and check that guy's, you know, behind his ear or something like that, you know, so... There's Mason Engler again to 25. 
It's Chris Bryant to four ninety nine. There's Michael King for the Yankees. Don Rabs and Cole's Gary Cole's brother in law is Brandon Crawford. Does San Francisco make a run for him? That's interesting. I don't know. Do you want to play with Don? Do you want to play with your brother in law? You want to work with your brother in law? You may love your brother in law or your in laws, but do you want to work with them? <laughs> Jimmy Bailey, I have not seen any Miles Mikolas in any of these. I don't think, is he on the checklist? I feel like Miles Mikolas wouldn't be in the, uh, wouldn't be in this one. All right, last box, folks. Exactly, peoples, yeah. I don't know if I'd want to work with my, work with my, uh, my brother-in-law. Oh, he is from Southern California. Don's saying he's from Newport Beach. Where did he go to college? People thought UCLA. That sounds about right. That sounds right. But yeah, I mean, he could go to the Angels. Angels looking for a top of the rotation guy. Kelly is saying he's going to go to whoever pays him. You don't think you don't think he cares? You don't think the destination is is necessarily the key? It's the it's money, contenders. All right. Oh, yeah, I mean, I can see that too. Cody West calling a shot. He thinks Garrett Cole signs with the Yankees. Lindor goes there when he's a free agent. In fact, he thinks Lindor gets traded in the offseason. Hmm. Whoa, 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 Brian Peebles. Come on now. I'm a UCLA guy. I'm not. I went to a UC, San Diego. <laughs> No, I mean maybe Astros could re-sign him too. He he may get all these offers and just be like, just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay with Houston. That's a contender. They can pay. They've got money. They're gonna have Verlander off the books too, and he gets he makes a lot of money. So you take that Verlander money, turn it into Garrett Cole money. A little bit longer contract, but that's right. <laughs> Card breaking engineer degree. At UC San Diego. A lot of long nights opening up Bowman Chrome Packs. Figuring out the best way to do it. Last box, boys and girls. Last two autographs. There's Casey Mize to 150. And there's Leonardo Jimenez for the Blue Jays. Kyle with the Bluebirds. Kelly's saying, I just hope my Red Sox can make some moves this offseason. And Sale can stay. Yeah, that Sale contract looks... If you're a Red Sox fan, you got to be nervous about that Chris Sale contract. When he's been healthy, I mean, he'll punch out like 13 guys in a game, right? 13, 14 guys in a game. There's Zach Brown band. Um, but then... Then you're just like, wait a second. And then one game, he looks like he's just garbage, like a dumpster fire. Brandon Belt to 499. Weird season for the Red Sox. I feel like the World Series hangover maybe lasted all season. Just something just didn't just something didn't click. There were some injuries and then you know, when one guy gets healthy, another guy was getting hurt, and if one guy was hot, another guy wasn't getting wasn't hot, it was cold. And the last autograph is Garrett Whitlock. And then it just didn't really click. Which as a Dodgers fan annoys me a little bit, Kelly, because I'm just like, all right, so did, they, did the Red Sox just get lucky last season and beat my Dodgers? All right. All right but that's baseball. Thanks, everybody. Got to give away a little bit of money. If you bought at least two teams, you have a chance at the breaky break credit. So let's go back to the team list here. Remember, this is break five, which filled after six. 
And let's alphabetize by your first names. Good break, ladies and gentlemen. Charles Byrne bought two teams. You get one entry. You got to buy at least two. Details in the item description. Darren McKenzie bought two. He gets one. Valdez got two. He gets one. EA got two. He gets one. Josh Proust got two. He gets one. Matt Gomes got four, so he gets two entries. Four teams get you two entries. Six teams get you three, so on and so forth. All right, that's it. So one of seven spots is going to be randomized to the top and win $100 of break credit. Let's roll it and randomize it. Five and a six, 11 times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven. Come on, random.org. Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Then final time. Name on top. Congrats to Matt Gomes. Oh, there was no doubt about it. His name was on on top there twice. So Matt Gomes, one hundred dollars of break credit going to be in your digital pocket. I don't think we called your name out very much in this break, if at all. So there's your consolation prize, $100 of break credit. Thank you very much for getting in. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.